on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. I think I spoke too soon. It's missing a tooth already? What the heck? What in the heck, Minnie? Hmm. Well, here we go again, guys. It is a little bit disappointing to see that that belt lost the tooth and it's checking. Does that back idler push the belt the other way so much that it cracked that belt like that? Are you supposed to have a V belt tensioner that pulls out the other way? Mini, 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 mini. Why are you eating all these belts, mini? I'm not going to let that discourage me. I'm going to see, first off, this bypass valve. At first I didn't think this would do anything because I thought it would just be boost to push that off, which it does do to recirculate. But more importantly, I had a couple of you guys, Diesel Ram Charger I think was the first one to say it, that this vacuum will open that up on high vacuum on idle since I have a draw through carburetor and then that will recirculate it. I don't know how much vacuum it takes to open this thing up. I'm going to get my brake bleeder and hook it up. There's no reason for that belt to be doing that because there's a back idler on it and that's not designed for that or it heated up too much. But I believe I put probably 70 or 80 miles on this time. It's open. Now people are saying this isn't going to work because this is made for boost blow off. But on the contrary, if you're doing too high a vacuum, it's going to do the same thing through here. Technically, even without this, because it's still pulling on this. But of course, when does this start opening? Let's see. Let me blow on it. So this just opened at 15 inches of vacuum. At 20 inches of vacuum, it opened up enough where it's pretty free flowing, blowing through with my mouth. But you can see it's pretty wide open. It's opened all the way. Now it's closed. So all the parts came in to do this job. Oh, it even comes with little clamps. And other springs, which it doesn't give a chart. It says that it comes with a, I believe it said a 15 pound. I wish they would come with a little better instructions. It's weak, but not the weakest. That's the heaviest. These two are... I believe these two are the same. That's a little weaker, and that's the weakest. The red spring is 8 to 22 pounds. The silver spring is 22 to 30, and the yellow spring is 30 plus. So I think we're going to need the red spring. Definitely needs a red spring. What the heck? Where would this go? Does it fit on top? Nope. So that goes there. If I put this in there. That does nothing. So let's see how much vacuum it takes now to open. Ten HGs of vacuum. I think that's what we'll start with. I don't know where these discs are supposed to go. Am I missing something? I can't put it underneath. It's got to go on top. 
but it falls right through this spring, so it's really not giving any more spring pressure. Let's get her done. It's huge. Well, look at the size of this thing. Look at the girth on it. That's what she said. <laughs> About like that. Wow, it's gonna take up. Yeah. Even if it ends up on an angle, that will be fine. And boy, I'm gonna have to clean this up spotless. At least cast iron's easy to machine. That's fairly thick there. It's at least a quarter inch. Time for the big one. There's no good way to clamp this. Here we go, boys. There. It's alright to go in the motor, right? It's fine. Now we'll just tap it in. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Now I gotta go more, but I don't wanna go too much. <laughs> gotta go a lot more. Oh, what the hell? Just go a little more, says. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dremel out the inside now. Use my special heavy-duty sealant here. Man, I tell you what, a lot of office references today. I'm gonna have to pull this out and dremel it all. Time to get the Dremel out, doo-da, doo-da. Well, that's gonna take way too long. Way too small. I knew it. There it is. I need something to hog it out. What the heck happened to my bits? I didn't have any good rasps or burrs to put into that Dremel, so I end up using this. It is doing it, but it's taking a while. See? Doing it good. Look at that. I don't need to clean that, do I? Well, it looks like that flap wheel is doing a trick. I'll never be able to take that out of there. A little bit more. Wish I had one more flap wheel. That actually did it. Looks pretty good, boys. Now it's got a nice polished elbow to go through. Not bad. We'll put the flange on and blow it out one more time. We could use pipe dope, but... Should I try to go one more? I mean, that's pretty tight. I'm on the wrong spot, so I gotta go. A half a revolution at least. Oh man. That's tight. That's what she said. Let's blow her one more time. It was definitely mating up pretty good, too. He said mating. What do you guys do to keep this from doing that? I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think I have some in a tube that's probably dry, too. No way. 
No effing way. Oh, here it comes. I got a whole bunch of it now. We'll just get a nice clean pile to finish the job we're doing. Let the rest of it just finish itself off. Nice and clean. Put me a thin layer here. Somebody commented on when I found that little burr that their son had the same thing happen and it ended up being, I think, one of the machining threads he found. I don't know how he found out that, that was it, but I sure rather blown him this than me. <laughs> it's a little high, but I still got, what do I got above there? About that much. Wow. I think I should have welded a bung in this one. Definitely. Guess what? You know why I'm having such trouble? Stainless steel. You know how hard that is. I thought I was going to break this tap. I'm not going to be able to get in there and flush it up. So this one, I got to make it so when I tighten it, it doesn't stick past too much. And there it is. Blew it out. Use carburetor cleaner. Did a little mouth pressure test. I used silicone because it's so big it barely even covered the threads. I mean, but it's in there and I tightened it almost all my might. That's where it ends up because that carburetor being away if I went that way too much further. Got that tapped in there. Use silicone to seal it. I need a one inch steel piece of pipe. That's like direct burial EMT stuff. So I gotta pick up some of that. It's on a suction side so it shouldn't be a problem. Temporarily. I don't know what it'll do under fuel when gas gets on it. You never know. Uh, I got my vacuum line hooked up. That's all hooked up under there. Got a little elbow. I'm hoping that don't collapse. Or I'm gonna have to get like a brass T with little short connectors on it. I don't know if it's gonna work, boys. Everything's tightened up, everything's plugged in. Always makes me nervous, first time doing something. Huh. Well, test her out. They do have an electrical fire extinguisher. Not that something's gonna happen, but not a bad idea to have. Can't believe that belt's coming to pieces already. I'm gonna stop a Levine to see if they have another one. Come on, Minnie. I know one thing, it usually draws more vacuum than that. I'll let it warm up a bit. Need my jacket. I gotta go to Home Cheapo again. Get three sheets of plywood. So many better make it. Cause if that belt flies off, I'll be driving unsupercharged. Well, let's see how she does. I have faith in you, Minnie. I didn't look at my elbow, did I? Don't know what to expect. by heat, right? I wonder if you're going to stall when we get to the stop. Now that you're pretty warmed up. It's running quite a bit cooler. That supercharger is. It was doing 120 degrees. We'll see. Oh boy, Minnie. Coming to break 
down straights again. Made it through that. Yeah, it's definitely running cooler. 100 degrees. That had to be drawing so much extra vacuum because when I used to shift, you could see that throttle would definitely just dip way down supercharger was pulling it. Let's hope that did it for the belts, man. A few moments later. They didn't have another Gates green back, but they do have a Gates power rated. So, I'll keep that as a backup, just in case. Because it is cracking a little, and I did lose a cog. We'll figure it out, Minnie. I hope. Darn. I might have to go right and take a left. It is busy, busy, busy today. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna take a right and go left. You know it'd be a great idea, Connecticut? A center turning lane. Craters. I need you, Minnie. I gotta get some plywood. Home Depot again. Idling pretty good, actually, huh? I'll charge it in time. A few moments later. Well, they got you loaded up with wood, Minnie. Let's bring it to the guys. We're taking it back way. Better than waiting for the light. Unmarked. Oh yeah, they don't have to use blinkers. Levine's didn't have any one inch pipe and I totally forgot while I was at Home Depot. Like a tard. It almost feels like it doesn't hold back when you're letting off the throttle anymore because I bet that supercharger was taking so much power trying to pump that it was slowing down the car. I would imagine that put a lot of stress on a belt. So let's keep our fingers crossed that that bypass valve, blow off bypass valve, was the problem chewing up those belts. Yeah, it's quite a bit cooler. It's running like 100 degrees now instead of 120. So maybe it wasn't the lawnmower belts after all, guys. We will see. Get and learn. The thing with me is that I am smart, and I'm smart. I'm self-smarted. Self-learn myself. I'm learning as I go. The whole thing filled with different stuff. And if it was full, it's only part full. Break down streets coming up, Mini. all over the place. According to this, I'm doing 47, but it went from 43 to 47. And I've been maintaining the same exact speed. Can't trust it anymore. Better off going off of this. And I don't know why. Sometimes it takes three seconds, sometimes it takes two seconds. 
Mini's a working machine. Uh, it's windy. Pushing Mini around a little bit. The guy left the key tag on. Apparently works at Home Depot. He saw my Instagram post when I left it and he was all hyped up and excited. He said I made his day. That's cool. Mini dropped her load off. Still holding together. Didn't stretch a bit. Amazing. Amazing Mini. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.